What's up guys, this is Dino Weapon, and welcome back to Five Nights at Weapons Enhanced Edition. Wait, why is it named like that? What the? Anyway. Well, we're just going to be taking a page out of Tetra Gaming's book. And just, and find some lost bits. First of all, let's just go with... All the sprites are on use. There's, give me one second. Is this even? Nope. Huh. There's the front button, back button, office event, show stage, next stage, a safe room, the dining button, and the VIP event button. She has some code to just hide. These others have like nothing except for the front button. Interestingly enough, and then these guys have nothing. There's also the there's also the mute and nope buttons from the first one, the first Five Nights at Weapons game, or the first version. But well, as we discussed earlier, has nothing except for a single. Office vent light, you know, head light has drastically changed from the first one. Instead of just being a static, you know, a static light, it's just now Just a really nice, you know, fading. If uh, low, low. It goes from the from the center all the way and fades out. And it also has a little aura around it-ish. I don't really know how to describe it. Monitor, as we discussed in the other one, there's also a whole bunch of these. You know, the simple stuff. And most of these, pretty much all of these are from the trailer, interestingly enough. I mean, reusing trailer assets is actually really resourceful now that I think about it. It's also the static that we managed to fix. Because since I have 10 layers, you just gotta go back to. Then for backdrops, the, there's this. There's this tile screen that, be, that can be seen for a split second. As well as a one with the vent closed. And a power out version of that one. As well as an ending, which says, thanks for playing, things get so much worse. Now let's go on to sounds. Nothing for that, or that, or that, or that, or that. All of these buttons have nothing. Yet from the original, yet from, left over from the original Five Nights at Weapons, there's still the, there's still the Toreador March. That would activate whenever you press the red button, as well as the night, the FNAF one night five phone call, which I honestly have no idea how to get, but it was in the files. Except the fact that, except for the fact that this one is more roboticized. Yeah, pretty creepy stuff. Lock has no audio whatsoever. Play just has default, so it's that and that. Rope weapon still has nothing. 
then the monitor also has nothing to help. The backdrops have the most stuff. There's the telephone ring. And then there's the <laughs> itself. And then there's two other tracks that are in the official soundtrack but haven't been used. First we have Office Panic, which is, according to the OST, is when you haven't seen Robo Weapon in the cameras for a long time. And the office ambiance noise, which is supposed to play whenever the, you're just alone in the office. Yeah, that's about it. So, it's all the stuff. Actually, there is some code that's left over. As we went over, there's... This seems to be supposed to... When it's clicked, it just switches to that. And that's left over from the the first version. Is that you know, this used to be when it, this used to happen whenever. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to explain. This used to have a 15 second timer before the game would start. And the clock, I don't think anything's really changed about it. The fan actually has a power out. The rope weapon has like no code whatsoever. The light has a lot more code than you would expect. And finally, the monitor has probably like the most code other than the backdrops, which is pretty much everything. Actually, the off office ambiance and the and office panic aren't unused. They just haven't been scripted to play. It seems like there's a mechanic called panic, where it would increase the longer you haven't. The longer the amount of time you haven't seen Robo Weapon, and if you haven't seen him for an amount of fifty, let's just call them ticks, then Office Panic would replace the Office Ambiance until you find Robo Weapon again. And if you don't find him, well, he might already be in your office. That is it for Five Nights at Weapons Enhanced Edition. Riley, oh my. There we go. That might be the noise of the fan, which also the fan animation is pretty weird, but... Or, not weird, but kinda choppy. And kinda better than the last one. Thanks everyone so much for watching. This is Dino Weapon signing out.